So I'm Bruno Batu. I'm the head of banking and ID business line within the Secure Micro Division. In Trustec, we are showcasing mainly two areas. First, the new uh, dual interface system on chip solution called STPay to Pass. And on the other hand, new biometrics architectures that we're introducing on the market. STP Topaz is our new banking system and chip solution based on the brand new ST31P 40 nanometer chip. So STP is a product family that has been introduced 10 years ago. It's a well-proven solution and STP Topaz is a new solution now qualified, certified and ready to go. Uh, a visa card can be issued up to 2031 based on this solution. Today we see the main differentiator of these products on two aspects. One being the really best-in-class RF performances at low power that allows very high-speed transaction on the one hand. Another main advantage of the STPay Topaz is the wide range of applications, of payment applications that are being supported, both international or domestic payment applications. So today we support more than 10 and payment is the main thing, but we have also and we have the unique capability to support uh, Calypso or MyFair environments thanks to license we are getting for, uh, for these technologies. That means with the STP2 Pass, you can have the banking plus transportation application. Today we see in the payment and ID two main trains. One is being driven by a dual interface move. So uh, as an example, this year in 2019 will be the very first year on the market when the, uh, the overall market more dual interface banking cards will be delivered than the contact cards. This is really a turning point. And the other trend we see is the simplification for the user of the authentication by increasing the security, which is uh, a feature that can be added by the fingerprint sensor with the biometrics card, which is a mega trend in the industry as well. Today there is a big boom and a big move towards biometric solution. However, Today, this market is only at the infant stage and uh, it's only a matter of pilots. There is no massive rollouts for several uh, limiting factors. Industrialization of the solutions, which is complex, because in the biometric cars you need to have a fingerprint sensor, a secure element, um, a general purpose microcontroller, and all this has to be laminated and hot lamination. So, in terms of manufacturing, it's something tricky. And then today, the cost is not that much optimized because of all these electronics to be embedded into a, such very thin form factor. We are bringing a very new chip based on the ST31 family that will work along with uh, General Purpose Micro, the STM32, which is uh, very popular today on the market. And this is the type of innovations on which we are working to optimize the bomb cost and to simplify the card structure. We have seen a lot of interest in our offer and the dynamics around, uh, around ST offering based on the new generation of ST31 chips. So on the dual inter interface we are very confident. We see the trend is moving and so uh, and with our solution that is well positioned. As far as the biometrics is concerned, so this is second or third years where the biometrics is still bringing a lot of interest and uh, now this is really time for ramping up because now customers are really looking forward to getting uh, optimized solutions with cost optimization because uh, a card that will be more than five dollars will not turn into mass volume production. Yeah.